Hey, hey guys, what's going on? It's your buddy Keith here live again in the control room with some fancy lighting here at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. We bought some new lights getting ready to do the pro videos with the DSLR, but uh, first I just want to try them and yeah, did a little photo shoot with this bad boy. Up for sale on Reverb.com and on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe. What we do is we showcase pretty cool, rare guitars from all around the world. Each and every day, we show them up close and in person so that you have a really good idea of what they look like. You learn a lot about special features that you might not have otherwise noticed or learned about on the, uh, the spec sheets that you see on websites, maybe we get older models that are long forgotten and you can't even find spec sheets, so you can use these videos as a point of reference. All right, so what we're dealing with here today is a Gibson SJ200 Studio, but not just any SJ200 Studio. This one is equipped with the Fishman pickup, or as my wife just said, Fishman. Like uh, Stan Lee invented it or something. Pretty funny. I said, no, dear, it's a Fishman. That's, that's how we say it. You can see uh, that the wood is flamed on the back. You see that texture of the maple back? It still has a Sitka spruce top, but the uh, it's kind of like a maroon, burgundy type finish. Rosewood mustache, handlebar mustache bridge with mother of pearl inlays there. You've got the Mother of Pearl Imperial Crown inlays that look gorgeous on a rosewood fretboard. The studio truss rod cover, and then the Mother of Pearl, again, Imperial Crown and Gibson headstock logos. Really cool, guys. This thing's been a player. It's got a few little dings and like real minor stuff here and there. Overall, I mean, as you can see, we back up. It's very presentable. There is a little bit of haziness in the gloss right there, and a tiny spot right there, which again is from, you know, you rest your arm, you strum, uh, that sort of thing. Can it be buffed out and polished out? I'm sure it can. I don't know anything about buffing and polishing, but just want to make you aware of it. Tortoise shell pick guard. Now for my favorite part is what we've got going on on the backs and sides. So as you can see here, I'm just, just lighting a little bit. You can see it's real subtle, but this has got a nice kind of natural flame all the way around the sides. It's hard to see in the, it's, it's hard to see in the uh, phone lighting here, but in real life, you can see it quite clearly. The, the dyed color of the guitar uh, kind of obscures the flaming. Same thing with on the back of the neck. It's a full flame neck all the way down. It's got all the tiger stripes. And then if we flip it over to the back, we can see a little bit clearer here. You can kind of make it out. So it's nice and subtle. It's not in your face. You still get the nice color, which is what Obviously, they're going for when they don't go with the natural top. You can see a few little marks and swirls and stuff like that with direct lighting on it. And then as we back up, you can kind of see what we're working with. Real nice tiger stripe kind of flame all the way up and down, including on the headstock. Grover tuners. Nice, guys. Just uh, an SJ200 you don't see every day. I personally haven't seen one in this finish, and uh, I love it. Just wish my cell phone video could show you. There we go. You can kind of make those tiger stripes out. Yeah, the phone video isn't really doing a great job of showing these subtle grain details, but that's all right. Um, because it does give you a great idea overall of what it looks like, and you can see quite clearly through the wood in the back there. Aside from that, guys, it's uh, 
It's your standard issue SJ200. It sounds beautiful. Very resonant, very, uh, very, very uh, loud, booming guitar. Love it. We've got the Gibson acoustic case. And that's it. I'm uh, a little bit sh keeping it short and sweet. I'm running out of gas here, guys. It's about one o'clock in the morning and I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm getting ready to go on vacation in Greece for a few days. And I got some friends from the States coming over to visit too. So a lot of work to be done here at the studio before I do that. And a lot of late nights. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Thanks for checking out the video. If you want to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, that's killer. It's at Essex Recording Studios. We're on Twitter, too, uh, at Essex Recording. And, yeah, I think that does it. Later, dudes.